Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Let's read the question together. Find the largest real number x such that this equation. Okay, so the equation is a fraction of x squared plus x minus 1 plus absolute value of x squared minus bracket x minus 1 over 2 is equal to 35x minus 250. So this is a type of algebra question. So how to solve this equation? You are presented with absolute value. All right. But something to note about this type of question. First thing first, just some observation I want you to introduce you to. Am I right to say that if I have half of a plus b plus absolute value of a minus b? All right. I say that this expression is always equal to the maximum of either a or b. So this is not hard to see. See in this case, if the case of a is larger than b, so the absolute value of a minus b is just equal to a minus b because a is greater than b. So you start to cancel half of a plus b plus a minus b, that will give you half of 2a, which is a. And we just say in the assumption just now, a is greater than b, right? So maximum of ab is the a. If I have the case of b is larger than a instead, more or less the same, now is the absolute value of a minus b should now be equal to b minus a. Substitute that in, at the end you should get b. And that will also correspond to the maximum value of either a or b. Okay, so this is the first observation. The second observation you need to notice is x square minus x plus 1. If you rewrite this as completing the square, so you will have x square minus x plus 1 over 4. So I need to plus another 3 over 4 because initially my constant term is a 1. So here I can write 1 x minus 1 over 2 square plus 3 over 4. No matter what the real value of x is, this expression will always be greater than zero. Of course, this you can also prove this using discriminant. Discriminant is always smaller than zero. So why would I do this? I have x square minus x plus one is greater than zero. I can infer that x square is always greater than x minus one. So in fact, I just need to shift negative x plus one to the right hand side. Okay, so now I have this. Go back to our question. So half the left hand side of the expression in the question, half of x squared plus x minus one plus absolute value of x squared minus x minus one. Notice this, my first observation, this observation, all right. That in fact, I can take a to be x square and b to be x minus 1. Okay, so half of a plus b plus absolute value of a minus b, that would be equal to, from the first observation, it is the maximum of a or b. Alright, so as I say, I can say that this is my a and this is my b. Okay, so this is equal to the maximum of either a, which is my x square, b, which is x minus 1. Okay, using my second observation, I have already proved that x square is always greater than x minus 1. So the maximum of x square or x minus 1, in fact, it is an x square, because x square is always the larger number. So that means the equation would just become becomes the left hand side is just an x square is equal to 35x 
minus 250. Shift everything to the left hand side. x square minus 35x plus 250. Quadratic equation, you can factorize this, you will get x minus 25. x minus 10 is equal to 0. That means the value of x is either 10 or 25. The question asks for the larger, the largest value. So hence, the largest value of x is 25. Because 25 is the larger amount between 10 and 25. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.